Hi, welcome to Sonic Vision Studio. My name's Sam and today I'm going to talk to you about how to have a piano in the room when you don't have a piano in the room. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave comments and ask questions. So here in this studio, I would have loved to have a real acoustic piano uh, in the room or in the in the in the little live room I've got. But obviously, with the space limitations, that's completely impossible. However, I may have come up with the next best thing. The great thing about a real piano, other than obviously the sound and the ability to, to place a microphone right in front of it and capture the sound, is just the fact that it's always on. You don't have to switch it on. You don't have to uh, switch on your computer and uh, switch on the keyboard and open up your DAW and open up a software instrument. And this all could take quite a few minutes to get going and by that stage the inspiration might be lost. Or maybe you just want to tune your guitar or maybe you just want to uh, uh, you have a melody in your head and you want to work it out sometimes I'm listening to music and me usually to find the key of the song uh, I need to to play on the keyboard or the guitar for a second just to uh, find out what key the song is in I don't have perfect pitch so here in the studio I have an RD 700 SX 88 key weighted hammer action keyboard which has two functions it's set up with MIDI as a controller keyboard with Logic Pro to use with software instruments as anyone would normally use as a master keyboard but here's the difference the audio output from the Roland is permanently connected to my monitor controller which means it works as a basic piano independently of the computer all right so just to give you a little demonstration of what i've got going on here we've got the uh obviously we've got the the keyboard here and uh i've got logic pro and i'm running a software instrument in native instruments in logic pro so down here on my monitor controller i've got the auxiliary switched off now if i play the piano c major you can see here, I'm running purely MIDI. It's triggering the sounds within Logic. Whereas over here, if I oh, take my mouse and I mute the track, here in Logic, here on the keyboard, nothing playing. But if I switch on my uh, auxiliary input, I've got the audio running from directly from the Roland straight into my speakers through the monitor controller and if I need a piano sound I've always got one uh, then if I want to hear what's coming out of logic all, all I need to do is just mute unmute there and I've got a slightly different piano sound probably sounds similar through the phone but it's it's different so the other great thing is if I want to close that and just open up whatever kind of, um, you know, let's just open some strings, for example. And so now, I've got strings. So there we go. I have tons of great software pianos from Native Instruments and Logic Pro, so I'm fine to forego the internal sounds from the Roland in order to get my piano in the room. Yeah, so you might say to me, oh, well, that's all well and good, Sam, but you've still got to switch on your uh, keyboard, which is true. However, I have this whole studio basically on uh, a couple of switches so this one i switch on and it switches on all the outboard gear and the keyboard and the lights uh i've got this switch over here which switches on the whole sort of guitar amp pedal setup and then just independently i switch the the computer on separately but yeah so basically if i um it, i wouldn't be here 
without switching this guy on because this switches the lights on and off as well. Thanks for watching. Cheers from Sonic Vision. See you soon.